So here's a change the subject of a formula. And we've got to change the subject of this formula, which currently is L, to K. So our aim is eventually to get something that looks like K equals with a algebraic formula involving all the other letters. So let's start out. And remember the main aim when we're doing this is to say what do I get rid of on my way to trying to isolate K and get K on its own in one of the sides of this equation. So I think the first thing to look at is the square root. And remember in this you should always be thinking opposites. Do the opposite to both sides. And the opposite of square rooting is squaring. So we would take the left hand side and square it. The right hand side, square it. In other words, we get rid of that square root. Now k is tucked in in this term here, so let's try and get rid of a subtract p. So we'd do the opposite. We'd add p to both sides. So we'll have an l squared plus p. And then when we add p to the right hand side, this minus p would disappear. So the k is still tucked in there. And we've got a 4 times a k times a t. In other words, the k is being multiplied by a 4 and a t. It's being multiplied by 4t. So the opposite of multiplying by 4t is dividing by 4t. So we should be taking the left-hand side and dividing all of the left-hand side by 4t. And we do the same with the right-hand side. When we divide that by 4t, the 4 and the t will disappear and we'll get k on its own. Over here, 4t times k, when you divide that by 4t, 4t into 4t goes 1, 4t into 4t goes 1. We cancel that. We just get k over 1, which is k. So we've done it. And we just need to write it the normal way around. Don't normally put formula with the letter we're trying to find on the right-hand side. So k equals l squared plus p divided by 4t.